Is this your, your tea? My friends. Oh, your friends' tea? Oh, okay. Organic cool. teas. I, I also do tea, but just for myself. Uh, by hand. <laughs> by hand? Yeah. Where are you from? Fukuoka. Fukuoka? Yeah, so it's oh, okay. 900 kilometers by K truck. By K truck? <laughs> It only took 19 hours. <laughs> you mind if I record you? <laughs> that is okay. <laughs> I've been on TV a few times. So oh, really? Been Where? Been so shy. Down in Fukuoka. Okay. And also the nationwide TV show, the Yuwa Nanishi Nihon E. Why, why did you come to Japan? Really? So they came from Tokyo yeah, yeah. to my 145 year old Komenka. Yeah. yeah. And then filmed me. Oh, wow. Me okay, cool. <laughs> cool. We, we live in uh, Iwakuni. So it's in the Yamaguchi Prefecture. Oh, okay. Yeah. Um, yeah, I drove through there. Yeah, yeah. You drive through there on the on the the on the Sanyo. I haven't left Kyushu for four years. Really? Yeah, I mean, there's COVID, but yeah. I actually don't like traveling. It's just to, <laughs> I have contentment. Yeah, yeah. Where I live. That's so, cool. But I came here to kind of... Show, spread the wealth. Yeah, yeah uh, Kyushu's not as... The rest, Honshu's more popular. So yeah, I yeah. I, I love uh, uh, Kyushu, Kita Kyushu. Oh, actually, all of Kyushu is really cool. You've been down there. Oh, yeah, yeah, several times, yeah. We've been to Fukuoka. We, we drove around all over um, uh, Kyushu as well. And uh, um, and then we we drove all the way down to um, uh, Kuma, Kumamoto. Where is it, the fur, furthest down? Kagoshima. Kagoshima. And then we went took the ferry down to... Yakushima? Yakushima? Yeah, Yakushima. Yakushima, yeah. We spent a couple of nights over there and went and looked at all the cedar trees and all that good stuff, yeah. Yeah, it was uh, it was quite an experience, yeah. I did, I, for work, because I'm a photographer, oh. I, I, done, I did TV stills and I went all around Kyushu to everywhere. Really? Kagoshima, Fukuoka, straight down to Kagoshima, yeah, everything yeah. in between. Yeah. And, and it's great, free. Yeah. It's like a holiday. <laughs> Take it. So, oh, so this, is this your work right there, the, this picture? Yes. Yeah, this is my rice that I slaved and grown by. Hand. <laughs> <laughs> I managed just small production, 12, 12 kilograms. 12 kilograms, but that's for, it? For black rice. It's, yeah. It's a year's supply when you mix it. Oh, yeah, because you just can't eat it like that, right? You so, can. Yeah. It's quite strong. Yeah. <laughs> and everything by hand, I do my rice in this. Uh, really? Where are you from? Uh, Yorkshire, north of England. From, wow. I've been, I've been in uh, Japan 10 years, Asia 30. Wow. Wow, and you're going to stay there probably? Oh yeah, no, I've, I've discovered my aim in life. Yeah. <laughs> I have. See? It's just uh, mm. rice. Yeah, yeah. And, and mm. tea. I yeah. mean, they're sta kind of staple crops, yes. especially rice. Yeah. Um, I'm also on a YouTube channel that does natural farming. So this is a guy from Peter Kyushu, German. He came and filmed my life. What, what's his What's his channel? It's called Growing Small. Growing Small. Okay, I've I, I found it. I've watched it. I have a oh. little YouTube channel too. So if you don't mind, oh, yeah, yeah. yeah. What's that? <laughs> uh, uh, Coco Lencho Japan. I'll write it down here yeah, for yeah. you. Yeah, yeah. Uh, but we uh, we bought a uh, a vacant house in Akia in in, in there in uh, near. Uh, near Iwakuni in the, in the countryside in a small town called Miwa and um, so we were doing a, 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 an extensive renovation and uh, we're gonna you know make it livable and so that we can huh? how old is it? how old? Uh, it's built in 1975 okay. yeah not, not, not that old mine's twice that <laughs> one of them but, well we're about halfway and it's been five years already so we bought another one wow 60 years old but Built like one two hundred years. Ago. Yes, yes, and, yes. And with no, we just moved in. It's perfect. So yeah, I've changed my view about living in. Well, you can live in a really old house and spend your life renovating. Yeah, yeah. And you can get a relatively young one with the same design. Uh, yeah, so that's why, like our house, yeah, again, is nineteen seventy five, but um, it's it's I think is new enough that you can. Uh, Make it a little bit more, you know, livable. Um, so you got the floor. Do the, you have to redo floors. Yeah. So we, actually, we decided to go ahead and uh, pour concrete slab. Okay. 
um, that was the recommendation of the carpenter. We said, let's go ahead and do it yeah. so that it could last for. Cut. We removed all this. In, from that. Oh, you removed the sand? I'm hardcore. Oh, you, you're hardcore. <laughs> we, we built earth walls. Uh, oh, wow. We put back everything. And yep. we, we removed the concrete floor and mm -hmm. made the earth do a doma. Yes. It's like it's like thousand square foot doma. It's like massive. Yeah, yeah. yeah. Well, and, uh, are you going back? <laughs> the Rory uh, I made, and we have Mackie stove. We got rid of gas. Don't use gas. Yeah, so we've learned a lot from our carpenter tradition. He actually does modern methods, but he's 74, so I learned. I I made sure he could not bring any electric tool. Oh, really? So, he, so I just give him all the old tools to use. <laughs> so, no, no screws on it. No, no. <laughs> you made him go old school. <laughs> then he kind of opened up, and man, he, 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 he knows everything. Yeah, yeah. All the, Traditional joints, yes, yeah. the new Hashira, yeah. he mended Harry damaged by rain. Yeah, yeah, yeah. All by hand. All by hand. See, he's probably happy that someone like you was interested in it. Yeah. yeah because right now everyone wants it fast and, and you know, quick. Yeah. It's uh, also really cheap for it. Like one day, 15,000. And he work, gets up 8 a.m. and works till 8 a.m. And, and unless you give him some food, he won't stop working. He wouldn't stop working. <laughs> He's a good friend. Yeah, also. yeah, yeah. So, wow, wow. Yeah. So, what brought you to Japan? Uh, uh, Bobby, you don't have to tell me if you don't want to. Yeah. No, I first stayed in Aso Kumamoto, yep. next to the volcano. Yeah, yeah. And I worked in a guest house that was going to open to renovate a renovation. Project. Uh huh. And there was an old house, and it wasn't at IKEA before. So, I thought, that's amazing. And after three months, I maxed out the social visit pass, went back to Malaysia, yeah. which I wasn't enjoying. And, and so I immediately came back, shipped all my stuff, and that's it, me now. This is what you're doing. <laughs> wow. That's... I discovered tea, and that's, that's why I live in Kyushu, because it's famous. The first tea in Japan was planted there 600 years ago. Uh -huh. uh, so I, I discovered, so we have like, well, I would say some of the best tea in Japan. Do you have a website? Yes, no. I mean, I know you went kind of anti-social on us and everything. No, so. I, especially for the event, my, my website, okay. I'll, Instagram. I'll, I'll take I'll take your card here in a minute, but let me make sure I get that. You can have the card. Oh, for, yeah, I will. Yeah, <laughs> and this is your Instagram. Yeah, Rupert Singleton. IG Rupert Japan. Okay, cool. Let me go ahead and have that. Yeah, that's my photo. That photo looks good, big. Oh wow! So, what kind of camera do you use? Canon One DX Two. Okay. And Zeiss Otis. Same price as a house. <laughs> <laughs> so when, when I was on TV, they, they flashed a picture of my Kalminka uh -huh. and then my camera at the same price. <laughs> <laughs> so do you, I mean, you work as a photographer as well? I did. COVID. Mm. I, just, I did a lot of uh, tourism work for Kumamoto City. A lot of Kyushu cities, like yeah. I did a whole website for Takeo and Saga, and, uh, Fukuoka, because I was there four years in the city, lots of work. Yeah, yeah. For, uh, businesses. Plus I do international, if an international company wants to work in Japan, I can, you know. You can, you can make that, oh, okay, cool. So, so your website is the same. Oh, that's right, because you had a photography uh, website, right? So yeah, it's all on there. It's all on there. Okay, cool. It as well. so there's the tea gallery of tea, rice. Right. <laughs> Sato Yama photo. That's cool, man. That's cool. So I, I was hoping to sell a few prints, but I think it's not really the place. To it's not. <laughs> Not, yeah, not that cheap. <laughs> yeah, I mean, see, see the, and the thing is, I think nowadays people don't appreciate, um, I say art, you know. Yeah, I the, mean the internet. I mean, yeah, you can do a close up of this. This is, you know, shikui. Shikui, absolutely. Yeah, so we're putting shikui on our on our walls. Right. This yeah. it looks like a winter landscape. Call okay. me call me crazy, but I don't think so. It's like a forest with the snow coming down. Yeah, yeah. Yeah, I took this in Nara, 2009. So I, to me, it just looks yeah, like yeah. But what is it exactly? What was it? Oh, it's before? not. It's uh, rising damp. 
Oh, okay. That's what I was trying to figure out what it is. Oh. It's like the bottom, bottom of the wall. Okay, yeah. So, an old villa in there. So, so, in other words, mold. It's mold. <laughs> <laughs> but no, that's but I have I would imagination. Have, I would have so. no, no, absolutely. Yeah, yeah, yeah. And that's I cool. have my same year. I've got like Sakura snow over there. The petrol. Oh snow. yeah, that's really cool. That's my best shot ever. Yeah, that is. That was the only. It was like a minute window in during Sakura season to yeah. capture that. Yeah, you had to wait and full full bloom and the wind blowing the petals. That's pretty cool. Yeah, wow, sounds like you have quite a quite an interesting story there. Yeah. <laughs> yeah, yeah. To, to be continued. <laughs> <laughs> to be continued. Awesome, awesome. That's really cool. I would like to visit your place someday. Oh, yeah, you will. No. Most welcome. Yeah, In do fact, you... we got, like I say, two properties, so accommodation is not a problem in the state. Oh, okay. Oh. We do, we'll be doing, like, farm stays. Oh, okay. You... Like, next week we've got a tea workshop, so we've got ten people coming, and we'll roast the tea in the big... And they can stay at your place and everything, or uh, it's a day event. But later, yeah. when we're more organised, I love the countryside, and it's like <clears throat> it's almost like a <clears throat> I've been converted. It's like enlightenment. So I just want to tell people. You want to tell people? And that's yeah. why they got this event, haven't they? Yes, yes. It's, it's more people than ever interested. Yeah. In yeah. Kind of did Did you come last year? No, I didn't. I got a friend who came last year. <clears throat> found me somehow on Facebook and seeing my lifestyle said, oh, you should join this uh, this group, yeah. Japan yeah. Group. So uh, I came to thank you. Yeah, yeah. Yeah, we, we came last year. Um, well, I was, it was actually up in Kyoto, in the mountains in Kyoto. It was really cool. And oh, I thought yeah. what was really cool is that uh, I would say 95% of the people were foreigners, not, not Japanese. Yeah. And actually, I'm kind of pleasantly surprised to see more Japanese it's this time. Good to see, actually. Yeah. yeah, because a lot of Japanese they they, they see a Nakia or a Minka as as trash, I think. Yeah, it's it's, it's unlivable. Yeah. yeah, yeah, it's like oh, it's you know who who wants to live there, and that's crazy foreigners. Yeah, that's in my YouTube thing. I said so the Japanese government they they view Kill Minka as unfit for human habitation. Right. <laughs> 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 what, Tokyo's fit for human habitation? Uh, the other day I saw some article about uh, living healthy and it was about, um, what, gosh, what was it about? Basically um, living like in the old style, right? Uh, uh, no chemicals in the walls and the floors and everything. But yet, that's the way we used to live a, a no, long time it, it ago. It was just normal. And, yeah, it was normal, and right? It was normal to go in the mountain and pick your dinner. <laughs> yeah. And I do that. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> the concept of a supermarket, yeah. it's gone on a truck, yeah, yeah. miles, and all that. I mean, it's all on my doorstep where I live. So. Yeah, yeah. I mean, a mountain spring water straight into my house. Oh, Jesus Christ. <laughs> and, and into my rice field. Yeah, so yeah. My rice gets a taste. Yeah. yeah. And did you did you did you get your your house for free or it was eight thousand dollars? But now six thousand with the exchange rate. Yeah. <laughs> Price to have it. twenty percent. Oh. And how much? Uh, in the, in the, well, you've done a lot of work, but you went yeah, but back. We don't, I'm not like people who throw hundred grand at it. Yeah, yeah. Dollars. Yeah, yeah. No, we just did traditional methods, and the dirt for the walls came from the mountain mm -hmm. and the bamboo. So everything recycled for wood. We haven't bought any. Wow, wow. Uh, and yeah. I'm lucky. I went, I went on one TV show, I can't remember. I, I said, I like old things. Yeah, yeah, yeah. So suddenly at our local ward office, people were calling up, where does Rupert live? He, he can have all this stuff. He can have all this stuff. <laughs> <laughs> and what do they call you, Rupert son or what? Uh, Ruperto. Are you are you married to a Japanese? Yeah, or, yeah? yeah. okay. From Gotenba Sheep. Okay. So a Fujisan girl. A Fujisan girl, okay. I've well, climbed twice, Fujisan. So. Yeah, I think they say that if you do it twice, you're crazy. No, well, I'm a photographer, so that's different. <laughs> that's different, oh, okay, so that's, that doesn't count. Yeah, no, uh, it was beautiful. Second time, so I would yeah. recommend Where did you study photography? Uh, graphic designer by trade so I learned storytelling with you know type and imagery so yeah. 
I applied, and then applied that to photography and I found I could shoot better than the photographers that I hired. Yeah, as, yeah. As a designer. Wow. Uh, so I switched 15 years ago. I wanted to be a photographer. Uh, because I grew up uh, looking at National Geographic magazines and uh, whatnot. I had a friend who worked for them and he gave me my first assignment. Oh. For New York Times. It's like, and I shot on film. It was quite nerve wracking. Well, well. <laughs> but nice first, first assignment. So have you, have you shot for uh, National Geographic? No. No, no, no. Wow, that's pretty cool, man. That's really and cool. Airline magazines. I, I did a lot like that. Airline magazines too? Now you're quite, quite a celebrity there, huh? I did this, uh, we orchestrated all this, everyone in the right position. Yeah, Fukuoka, okay. Fukuoka, to Toji, yeah. Pagoda. So uh, that was in 19 and then COVID hit uh, and that's it. Uh, 2000, yeah. <laughs> they, they, they don't print these anymore, it's oh, like a dinosaur. Yeah, wow, so, wow. I mean, look, there's my local newspaper, there's me. So England to Yame. Ah, oh. <laughs> me with the cat. With your cat. Chopping wood. <laughs> <laughs> Best lifestyle ever. Oh, wow, that's pretty cool. <laughs> so you you drove, you, you brought all this in a K truck. Well, I, I thought, well, I'm coming so long, and the K truck's strong, and it actually drives better with a heavy load. With a load, yeah, well, yeah. Uh, a lot. <laughs> so. When 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 I bought our uh, Kia, the first thing I bought was a K truck. Yeah, it's so amazing. Oh God, I love that thing. It, it, mine is a 1993 uh, Subaru Sunbar. Oh. A little four x four, five speed. A uh, little. Uh, it has a little turbo charger in it. Four x four is good. Oh yeah. I got mine for uh, your man N forty thousand. Forty. Th yeah. Uh, Suzuki Carry. Okay. Yeah. Eighteen years old. But I, honestly, I, I got here. You got here. Just past the shack end, and a uh, <laughs> local mechanic who's a friend, and he lets us. I help with forest maintenance with him. Okay, uh, let me guess. Like, you get free wood too while you're at it. <laughs> like three tons a year. So. <laughs> <laughs> and that's how it works. Yeah. Yeah. There's yeah. like this kind of, uh, you know, helping each other out. System yeah, yeah, the yeah. And it doesn't involve money. Yeah, yeah. So. Yeah, and that's in my YouTube thing. It's like, how about not earning money and doing something, something in return, where you, do, where you can bypass having to earn it. Yeah, like yeah. Growing rice. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Now, did you, did you have to register as a farmer? Yeah, my wife. To, 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 okay. Actually, she's that's done a lot of that. A lot of that. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. So. Um, when we bought the house, they offered uh, the rice fields, but, but because I'm not a I'm not a registered farmer, you know, I could I couldn't pursue that. But, uh, okay. Yeah. I mean, it's also a lot of work if you if you think you're going to farm and then you end up not doing much farming. You have to maintain it because if it goes too wild, everyone will complain. Everyone will complain. And yeah. We're natural farmers, permaculture, so we let things go wild. Mm. But after a certain point, the neighbors go. Mm. Abandoned house, isn't yeah, it? yeah. So, but I'm looking at our, our village, I mean, it's fully inhabited, everyone's getting on a bit, but the community is still strong. And I have commitments to do with, like, you've got a, a water payment, and yeah. each, each male of the family has to, yeah, rotate. Yes, go. So, you, you got to do some of those commitments and everything, yeah. yeah. And but you're water, good with it, right? Water's from the mountain, so we have our own filtering system. So we have to go and collect the payment every month. Oh. And I, I was shocked that uh, <clears throat> we, we pay for the streetlights, the village. I thought it was the government. Oh, really? Yeah. But, but yes. do you pay a lot in taxes? I don't know. But they're quite wealthy. The, the common account, the, the bank account. We go quite a bit. Yeah. And how is your Japanese? <laughs> <laughs> like me. <laughs> I, I, I can stumble through. Yeah, yeah, yeah. My wife's a translator, so. Oh, so. We argue in English. <laughs> 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 
Yeah, we argue in English and when I want to, then in Spanish sometimes too. When I when I don't want to keep on arguing. Yeah, you're from America, right? Uh, from from the United States, but I grew up in Mexico, so oh, I speak right. Spanish. Your accent, yeah, it sounds good. It makes sense. So that's is that that's your logo right there. Um, the, yes, I designed these packs in exchange for like him helping out. It's cool. Wow. Well, man, that was a. Uh, sorry, just kept on going. Oh, Choco, okay. come here. <laughs> this is my wife Choco right here. So he he lives in uh, Fukuoka. Oh, near, near, near house. Yeah, and then he has uh, se several kominkas. Uh -huh. And uh, but actually, we watched him on YouTube before. He was really? been, yeah. This guy was uh, interviewing him on YouTube. So because I already took about thirty minutes of his time, you better buy some tea. <laughs> <laughs> He's like, you can try some as well. <laughs> uh, What's your favorite type of tea? So, classic green green tea, Sancha. Corn is like Pajicha. But it's all, all organic. It's all organic. Yeah. You make tea? Yes. And, and well, this is my friend's tea. Oh, that's so your I'm promoting tea. three friends. And did you bring some rice as well? You you have some black rice just too. Just to look at. Oh, just to look at. Yeah. Run up time. Just <laughs> packing all this. It's like two two weeks. Uh, you want a sample? I can let you taste. You want to taste? He he drove from Fukuoka on a K truck. Yeah, that's a long trip. <laughs> All right, folks, uh, so I'm going to go ahead and uh, cut this off so that I can uh, let him uh, uh, give us some tea here real quick. But that was really cool. Uh, Rupert Singleton, he lives in Fukuoka, and uh, I'll post his link on the, on the description below. That was a really cool impromptu uh, conversation with him. Just, uh, uh, just, just a real pleasure talking to him. Uh, this is probably the highlight of my day today. To, today. All right, thanks. Bye.